Hi guys, it's me, V, just a person who will be a straight A student if K-pop was a major. Say, welcome back to the second part of my reaction to hashtag cookie jar red velvets. First, right? Yeah. First Japanese mini album. I don't know if this is their only Japanese album. I don't think so, but it might be. I haven't looked that up yet. But yeah. Okay, so in this part, we have three songs that I obviously know from before, but Japanese version. We have Dum Dum, Russian Roulette, and Red Flavor. And it's going to be weird because I'm now very, very used to them being in Korean. So to now hear them in Japanese is going to be confusing. And I, <laughs> knowing the song, but not be able to sing along because it's in Japanese, you know. But excited. And I thought that these Japanese versions might have music videos to them, but they don't. But totally fine. <laughs> Because the original Korean versions obviously had music videos. Okay, so first off, <clears throat> Dum Dum. Okay, let's go. This is such a good song. And fun fact, all these three songs I added to my K-pop playlist, Korean versions. Oh, it's still just as good. Ooh. It sounds like very much the same, almost. And I feel like usually the Japanese version sounds kind of different. But it doesn't here to me. <laughs> Do I still prefer the Korean version? Yes. But this is really good. But the English lines is obviously listed in English. <laughs> I love this part. It's so addicting though. This part gets so stuck in my head. <laughs> I forgot that Joy had rapping lines in this song. Oh, yeah, I forgot how much I love this song. It has to be like up there with like one of my favorites. Be not be size, title tracks. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. So yeah, I was kind of worried to listen to them in Japanese versions, but no, it's good. And as I said, it doesn't sound very much different from the Korean version. But that has happened before though, that I've been 
kind of disappointed by a Japanese version of a Korean song because sometimes it sounds kind of very, <laughs> kind of very different, kind of very <laughs> different from the Korean version and almost like a different song. But yeah, this one's this version great. Okay, next one, Russian roulette, which is oh, like I almost want to say that this is now be starting to become my favorite b-side even like better than red flavor maybe not but like almost so excited for the japanese version okay russian roulette let's go this part oh kind of like similar to dum dum though like the same like these addicting parts For a second there, I was like, this, isn't this the Korean version? <laughs> it is Japanese. Yeah, it's Japanese. <laughs> no, it's Japanese. Oh my god, I'm so confused because it almost sounds like the Korean version. Like to me, this sounds like the same as the Korean version. And I've listened to the Korean version a lot lately, so it's weird that I think it sounds like the exact, exactly the same thing. But I guess that just means that this is like so good. <laughs> Okay, this part sounds different. <laughs> I really, really want to learn the choreography for Russian Roulette. It's good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, so yeah, I think that like my, I think now the Russian Wallet and Red Flavor are like my two favorite title tracks by Red Velvet. Okay, last one, Red Flavor. <laughs> and you guys know how much I love this one. Like it's insane. And like just the way it makes me feel. <laughs> Sounds cliche, but it's true though. Love this song. Okay, uh, let's uh, go away. <laughs> oh. 
That was so weird. This sounds different. <laughs> This part, not that different, but like the first part, whoa. Strawberry mix up. Wow. <laughs> uh, I, I think now the reason why this sounds so different to me is because I'm I've heard red flavor like a thousand times. That's probably why. I've heard Russian Roulette and Dum Dum a lot as well, but not nearly as much as Red Flavor. So I think that's why. Oh, I'm excited for the wrapping part in Japanese. Yummy, yummy gummy. <laughs> that was great. There's not that many. Okay, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> I want to hear the rest of the song. But yeah, okay. What was I about to say though? Yeah, <laughs> there's definitely not this many English lines in the Korean version, but I feel like that's very typical for when K pop groups does a Japanese version, they put in some English lines as well. Because I'm pretty damn sure that there's not that many English lines in the Korean version. I might be tripping though, but I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Ooh, so funny though that I thought that Red Flavor sounded so much different Japanese version, but not Dum Dum and Russian Robert. Let me know if this is the case with you as well, or is it only me? But as I said, I've listened to Red Flavor a thousand or like a million times. Um, so that might be the reason. Okay, that was me reacting to... Hashtag cookie jar, Japanese mini album. I think the next discography album thing is the album with Power Up in it. Right? Um, Red Velvet. Discography in order. Yeah, it is. It's called Summer Magic. So a summer album then. Excited about that. Ooh, and it's got Bad Boy English version in it. Exciting, right? Like I've reacted to a lot now. It feels like I've been enjoying it so much, and it's just it's great to see that you guys enjoy me enjoying Red Velvet. <laughs> I love that. It's great. Okay, see, stay tuned for the next video. 
And as always, before you leave this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again another time. Bye.